hello everyone so now we will see this question uh, it's a very very important question so you are given four configuration and for that we need to find the waveforms of v note ic uh, ic1 ic2 all these waveform and then you need to tell the time constant okay so these are the circuits so let us see the first circuit now yeah this is the first circuit here this is the input waveform right and we need we will first find the value of v note so for v note at t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 the capacitor will be short circuited the capacitor will be short circuited then your v note would be the capacitor will be short circuited then the current will be the current in this direction we call the current i let us assume we are calling the current i so if capacitor is short circuited this this will be zero so the current would be 5 by r right so the current would be 5 by r and since the capacitor is short circuited so all the current will be the all the i current that will be flowing through this capacitance only right so your i will be i equals to ic why because the capacitor is short circuited right the capacitor is short circuited so current would be 5 by r and this 5 by r current will be flowing through the capacitor only because the capacitor is acting as a short circuit right it is not really the short circuit but it is acting as a short circuit your i will be equals to ic and your v naught will be zero and your i r will be zero as well why so because all the current is flowing through this capacitor right uh, i shouldn't write it like 4 v naught i should write like this only and at t goes to infinity what will happen c will be open circuited right the capacitor will be open circuited and the current would be 5 by 2r right the capacitor will be open circuited the current will be 5 by 2r and the ic current would be zero right ic current would be zero because the capacitor is open circuited now what will be the ir i ir ir would be equals to i only and it would be equals to 5 by 2r in this condition the circuit was something like this r and this is short circuited and this is v in and this is v naught and in this condition the circuit was something like this r r okay so this is your v naught and this is your vi okay so now your i is 5 by 2r ic is 0 i r is 5 by 2 i r is 5 by 2r and what else we need to find our v naught is your v naught will be v naught will be v in by 2 means 5 by 2 right your v naught will be 5 by 2 why so because the capacitor is acting as an open circuit so it would be 5 by 2 that means it would be 2.5 volt okay do you get it now the second approach can be the second approach at t equals to 0 what is the frequency content i have told you in first video only but in unit step function at t equals to 0 we have infinite frequency content right if we have infinite frequency content 1 upon j omega c will be 0 means the impedance provided by capacitor is very low right the impedance that is provided by the capacitor is very low that means the parallel combination of r and c this is r and this is c okay this is some finite value right this is some finite value and this is very low value right the impedance provided by the resistance is some finite value and the impedance provided by the capacitance is very low if two resistance are connected in parallel one is having very low resistance and one is having very high resistance so that combination can be replaced simply by the simply by the 
um, simply by the lower resistance right so this r and c parallel combination can be replaced by c c only let us assume we have one resistance equals to and th thousand and one resistance equals to one so the parallel combination will be nearly equals to one only right so this is one this is some finite value and this is very low value so the parallel combination will be equals to c only so at t equals to zero your circuit can be reduced something like this this was your circuit right so at t equals to zero you can have a circuit like this right this is r this is c this is v naught and this is v in so from 0 to 5 so your v naught will be here 0 your i equals to ic would be 5 by r and your ir would be 0 only okay the circuit is reduced like this and then we can simply do this analysis okay and at steady state at steady state steady state means at t equals to infinity at t equals to infinity what is the frequency con omega equals to zero right at t equals to infinity we have zero frequency content and when omega equals to zero the impedance provided by the capacitance would be infinity right so your parallel combination r and c this is some finite value right and this is very large some finite value and some something is very large so it will be replaced by the resistance because this is the lower one right so it will be replaced by a resistance so at t goes to infinity your circuit will look something like this this is r and this is also r and this is v naught here you have v in so at t goes to infinity your i r would be 5 by 2 r your i c would be 0 your v naught would be 2.5 right do you understand it so now you can draw all the waveforms first we will see v naught so initially v naught was at 0 then it goes to 2.5 from 0 to 2.5 it goes okay 0 to 2.5 volt okay now talking about ic the capacitor current so initially the capacitor was short circuited so we had current 5 by r right and when it was open circuited it reduced to zero right now talking about ir I R. Initially, all the current was flowing through the capacitor only, right? All the current was flowing through the capacitor only. So initially, we had zero current through the resistor, but eventually it goes to 2.5 by R. From zero to 2.5 by R, it rises. Okay, zero to 2.5 by R. This is 2.5 by R. Okay. So the main concept here I wanted to give was we can see the circuit like this as well at t goes to infinity we have zero frequency content the capacitance provided by the the resistance provided by the capacitance is infinity very large if it is very large the parallel combination of r, r and c will be replaced by resistance r only and in case of at t equals to zero we have infinite frequency content because of the sudden jump because of the sudden jump we have infinite frequency content so the impedance provided by the capacitance is very low if it is it is very low it will be replaced by the capacitor only then the value would be we um, so the so the circuit can be replaced something like this or you can see see by the simple analysis okay so that's about the first circuit now we will see circuit c okay so let's see it in next video